Hi everybody, my name is Elisa and this is Fusion DIY. I am so excited that you've decided to join me again and I want to welcome you to my channel. If you like repurposing furniture and small items and reusing them, uh, this is the channel for you. I take items that otherwise would have been destined for a landfill and I repaint, restore, reuse them and I have a booth in the Pickers Junction in Sellersville, Pennsylvania, where I sell my items. So I've had a couple of thrift videos over the last few weeks. And so today I'm actually going to take some of those items that I found in thrift stores, yard sales, flea markets, and I'm gonna flip them and you'll see that process. So I hope that you will join me and I hope that you enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that each time I produce another video, you'll be notified. Once again, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoy today's projects. You re may remember this item I picked up at my local Habitat Restore, and it is three uh, individual little pots, and I decided that what I was going to do is I was going to put some um, greenery in them and so I started out with putting some holes into the um, the foam and then filling it with hot glue and then basically just filling the holes with the greenery um, you can see here that I start out doing one at a time and it's a very slow process but um, as I got further into the project I decided that I was going to go into more of a production mode and then I started doing things a little bit um, faster and you could see now I'm actually I think I pushed in about four or five holes and I'm filling them with the glue gun and there is the first one done and I did the second one but I figured I you guys didn't really need to see me do that one as well but here's how I actually progressed with this project I you could see that I put all the holes into the the foam and now I'm just going through filling them with hot glue and I am filling them with the the greenery um, this project turned out really nice I paid a dollar for the tray and the three pots together and I thought that was a great buy so I finished this project and I put it in my booth and it's been in there about two weeks and it is still for sale it hasn't sold yet so hopefully when I go back to my booth this weekend I will see that it has been sold but it really did turn out pretty and I enjoyed working on this it was a very fast flip and flips like that that don't require a whole lot of time um, are always the best kinds of flips so you will see here the finished project in just a moment and you'll also see it in my booth okay on to project two this was a little box that i picked up for a dollar at the habitat restore and i also found two small mason jars that fit in there perfectly. So I think this little crate I paid a dollar for, and I believe that each of the mason jars, I think were a dollar a piece. So what I'm doing here is I'm just cleaning the box and then I'm going to move on to painting it. And I really wish that I could paint this fast, but I've speeded up the video because nobody really wants to see anybody paint stuff. But I did it. And then uh, once I got it painted, I set it aside for a few minutes to let it dry. And then I, I went on to a different project. Uh, but in the end, I thought that it turned out really good. Now what I did was, I after I finished painting it, um, I... I really felt, and I put the the jars in it, I really felt that it was really kind of plain. So here I'm putting on just some 
jute twine around the top of the mason jars and I'm going to tie them into a bow and then you can see that I will put them into the the little crate they fit perfectly and it was just you know it was a match made in heaven um, and then after I get the twine on the second jar I'm going to put some lavender in there and that turned out really pretty but I just felt like it needed a something a little bit more so I actually got a transfer uh, it was a prima redesign transfer and I put it on the jar on the crate unfortunately I didn't have video of that. I thought that I had the camera on, but I didn't. So that was the, the little stamp that I put on it. And here I am applying some clear wax to the, the crate and just covering over that transfer to protect it. And I have to tell you guys, I did this, I believe I did this on like a Friday night and I put the, the um, completed project in my booth the next day on a Saturday and when I went back the following Saturday it had sold so it was really a great find so for project number three this is a wall pocket that I found uh, and I paid a dollar for this at the habitat restore the welcome was a little bit raised as well as some of the decoration in the flowers and I didn't want those little dots to be able to be seen when I painted the wall pocket. So I just sanded them down and tried to make them as smooth as possible. And then you will see that once I've cleaned it, I'm gonna go ahead and start painting it. So I painted the front and I painted the back and then I gave it, um, I did put a transfer on this one too and you'll see that again, it was me forgetting to turn on the video camera, but uh, you can see it just turned out really pretty uh, with the um, with the transfer on it. And here I'm putting on some clear wax just to protect that paint and to protect the transfer. And once I get that done, then I'm going to get some of the lavender that I picked up at Walmart and I'm going to put some of the lavender inside the the pocket and when I started to work on this the, there's the um, the foam as I started to work on this um, I initially thought that it was done once I put the lavender in but I started to look at it and I felt that it really needed to have a little bit more to it. I wasn't sure really what it needed. So what I did was I went and I got some, some of the um, Spanish moss and I tucked some of that inside and I just felt like it just looked, see, see that to me, it just looks a little bit bare. So I went back and added some Spanish moss at the end and you can see just um, what a difference it made when everything was said and done. And there it is with the Spanish moss, and I really like how that turned out. So that is currently in my booth. It has not sold as of last Sunday. For project four, this was a candlestick that I purchased at the Habitat Restore, and I did pay a dollar for it. And look at the detail in the base of that candlestick. You can't really see it too well now, but once I start to paint it and wax it, that will come through beautifully. So what I'm doing now is I took some crud cutter on a uh, dried out baby wipe and I'm just wiping off some of the dust and the dirt and there was a lot of dust on this candlestick so it had probably been sitting in somebody's basement or in their garage for quite a while but it really was pretty and it was a great size so now uh, what I'm doing is I'm taking some of the Waverly chalk paint in the color agave and I am painting the candlestick. And you'll see as I go through and I start to apply the waxes, uh, just what a, a beautiful candlestick this is. And it really turns out pretty. It, the details just really show 
once you start to add the waxes and it just gives this this candlestick a whole different uh, look and a whole different appeal to it so and if you don't have a lazy susan to do some of these projects i highly encourage you to keep a lookout for one of these because it makes painting your project so much easier and so much faster now i know that this video is speeded up right here but it definitely makes it so much easier to spin the item around on the lazy susan rather than having to pick it up and um, and and twist it around and paint it so uh, i really enjoy using one of those and i highly recommend it so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start to apply the clear wax and I'm using the Waverly clear wax and basically what this is going to do is it's going to protect the paint and I'm going to go back then and I'm going to add some white wax to this and the clear wax because it is on there it is going to enable me to control the amount of white wax that I put on the candlestick so it makes it that much easier to complete a project once you've gotten uh, the clear wax on it as well as the white wax so and you'll see that in just a moment the clear wax is going to rub off and then i'm going to go back and i'm going to start to white wax it so and this item is still available in my my booth at pickers junction in sellersville pennsylvania Okay, so now I'm going to apply the white wax and you'll just be able to see the detail in this candlestick come out now when I apply the white wax. Like I said, that detail down at the bottom is just so beautiful. And as I was wiping off some of the wax, some of the paint came off, but not a lot. So you kind of get a little bit of a glimmer of the gold paint that was originally on there and it really does look nice when it's all done i love white wax and i especially love using the agave color with the white wax because it just gives it such an appeal and i have to tell you that everything that i have painted with the agave and then applied the white wax has sold for me doesn't matter whether it's a little bird or if it's a candlestick, a small one, or even the large ones sell really well for me. There's just something, there's an appeal with that combination of the, the agave paint and the white wax that looks really, really uh, nice. So. so this is pretty much done. Um, and look at the detail in it. Doesn't it look great? So here is a picture of the candlestick in my booth. And you can kind of see some of the gold. Okay, for project number five, this one is, and unfortunately I did not get me painting the whole tray, uh, but it was an oval aluminum tray that I picked up at the Habitat Restore for a dollar. And what I'm doing here is, again, using the agave, uh, Waverly agave, chalk paint I am painting the the, the uh, tray this color and then I'm gonna set it aside overnight to dry because I really wanted to make sure that this was dry before I put the transfer on because I didn't want to run the risk of the paint peeling up so I finished painting it and as I said I set it aside overnight to dry so that it was very uh, completely dry when I put the transfer on.
Now here is the bird's transfer from Iron Orchid, Iron Orchid Designs uh, Brocante transfer package, and these transfers are absolutely beautiful. This bird transfer is so, so popular, and I've seen it on so many different projects, but it is really a beautiful transfer, and I tried to match the color in the bird in the center, uh, his or her chest, I tried to match to that color, and that's why I chose the agave. So the nice thing about transfers is that you can cut pieces from different transfers, you can combine them, and so these were from, this. the wording was a French word, um, and I found it on an entirely different transfer, and I thought, oh, that looks kind of pretty, so I'll just do that. So now, once the transfer is done, again, I'm going to go back and I'm going to give this piece a coat of clear wax. One of the things that you wanna do before you put the wax on is, and you saw me do this in this video, is you want to burnish the transfers. And basically all that means is that you're taking the plastic that the transfer was on and you're rubbing it over the entire transfer to make sure that you've gotten down all of the edges of your transfer so that nothing peels up and that's what burnishing means and so i put on a coat of clear wax and then of course i wiped away the excess and once i put the the clear wax on then i'm going to go back and once again i'm going to put on a coat of white wax which again makes it a really pretty um, it gives it a really pretty look so um, but here I am just wiping off the excess. And here is the white wax. So I did put on a coat of white wax and I put it on and I work in small sections just to make sure that the wax doesn't dry too much uh, before I wipe off the excess. So you can see here that I'm, I'm wiping it off. And look at the, the pretty result. Um, it just kind of dulls down the color enough, but it gives it a very soft look uh, to your project. And I really again, like this color combination, the agave chalk paint with the white wax. It just really is just such a pretty color. The nice thing about the white wax is that it will definitely bring out the detail in this tray, and that's what I was looking for here, which is why I put it on a little bit extra heavy. Um, it, when you wipe off the white wax, you can see the detail on the edges, and it just gives it such a great luster.
and here it is in my booth. So what did you think? Which was your fav favorite project? I think my favorite project was the aluminum tray that I used the bird transfer on. That one just came out so pretty. And I have it in my booth. I have to say, if it doesn't sell in the next couple of weeks, I may just grab it and bring it home and put it here in my own home. But I want to again thank you for joining me today. As I said before, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that when I produce another video, you'll be notified. Once again, thanks for joining me. Have an awesome week and God bless.